know it or not, is a trike. And if you're fed up with four wheels and tired of two, then a truculent three-wheeler is the only way to go. These, on the other hand, are military aircraft. And if you're fed up with, well, almost anything, you can blast it into submission and disappear into the blue yonder, thanks to an enormously powerful jet engine. And never before have the two been related in any way. Until now. with his pet, Colossus. Three years in development, it's the only jet-powered trike in the world. When most people think of accessories for their vehicle, they picture fluffy dice and air fresheners. Not Paul. He bolted on the jet from a small helicopter. So when you want to build a fire-breathing tricycle, where do you start? It was a learning curve from start to finish, really. I, I had help off certain professionals that, without them, it wouldn't have got done anyway. Um, but anything that could have gone wrong, did go wrong. Well, one memorable moment was in my friend's back garden. When we first lit up the afterburner, it, it proceeded to actually ignite his, um, the tree behind and uh, start to work its way through the garden. So do you need 48 tattoos and a pair of army trousers to be able to drive it, or can I have a go? If you're careful with it, I'll let you have a go. Oh, be careful with me, more importantly. <laughs> You're probably going to better turning circle on an elephant and power steering would be a definite plus but this is certainly the most fun you can have on three wheels plus it has all sorts of added little extras that you'd struggle to find on a normal car like this brace of very comforting fire extinguishers just in case you set fire to anyone or anything it's also got absolutely enormous 22 inch alloy wheels there's a spoiler nicked from a 747 and even a little holder for your tax disc. Tax disc? Yes, if the mood takes him, Paul can use his trike to trundle to the shops because Colossus is 100% road legal. Of course, practicality is another thing. At 6 foot wide and 16 foot long, it does rather stick out in the supermarket car park. And then there's that jet. To ignite it in public is illegal. It bellows vapour, three-foot flame and delivers ear-cracking noise. Not to mention being just a little bit dangerous. And don't forget those fuel bills. When you're on full afterburners, you're looking at five gallons of jet fuel every minute. So millionaires only need apply. But thinking about it, why stop at a trike?